Praise God. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, though, this is on religious rock. The fruit of religious rock. This is a partial list of the evil fruit of religious rock and roll music. It is by no means exhaustive. Conformity. There is a defined pressure to conform to this world rather than to separate oneself from its godless influence. Religious rock is a cheap imitation of secular rock and roll. These religious rockers, like the secular, play their music at the same ear-splitting level and give off the same nightclub barroom atmosphere with all the colored light, the smoke pots, special effects. Little do these religious rockers realize but as they identify and imitate the secular rock scene, they are indirectly giving approval to, the type, to that type of morality and lifestyle. As a re result, they are on a path of destruction for others. Note, the reason rock and roll is played so loud is because at high decibel levels, a person's consciousness and inhibitions are numbed. That individual can be easily programmed to accept Satan's standards instead of God's. What does God have to say about all this commotion, compromise and fellowship with evil? In 2 Chronicles, Corinthians 6, 14-17, God says, Be ye not unevenly loked together with unbelievers, for what hath fellowship hath with righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concur concord hath Christ with Baal? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are a temple of the living God, as God hath said, I dwell in them, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. <coughs> there, wherefore, come out of among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. After reading this, it can be seen that the coming out and being separate from evil is not the cheap imitation, monkey see, monkey do, that the religious rock scene portrays. Again, where is the discernment between good and evil within the church? Secular rock and roll. One that find them in fruit of religious rock is that it leads its followers back to a with secular rock. Many Christian young people listen to secular rock roll stations and their own secular rock albums in addition to their collection of religious rock and roll. As already pointed out at religious rock concerts, some of the bands play secular rock songs to warm up the audience. This exposes Christian young people to all forms of demonic filth and will certainly influence them in a negative way. The danger is that religious rock will lead people away from God, holiness, and a separated lifestyle, just as surely as a secular rock will lead them to the devil. God says plainly in James 4, 4, Ye adulterers, adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is immunity with God, Whosoever therefore be a friend of the world is, en is the enemy of God. Why would a Christian listen to secular rock and roll? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore the hearts of the sons of the men is fully set in them to do evil. Is it? He's a classics 811. Or maybe they don't really love the Lord Jesus. Or maybe they are not really born again, but merely prof profess to be a Christian. The Bible says that Satan had, was created a beautiful, 
musical creature. Ezekiel 2813. Since music was built into his very nature, why are we foolish enough to assume that he will not deceive and deceive? Rock comes in a package. It is a package deal. The listener doesn't just get the music alone. Over time, one or the more of the following evil fruits will manifest in the life of the listener. Rebellion, suicide, homosexual, Reality, violence, immorality, blasphemy, drugs and alcohol, occult and worldliness. Music influence in a negative way, unbeggable way. A person's morals, values, and philosophy of life. How does the music do this? The music me mesmerizes the listener while Satan puts on his gun godly lyrics. Moral standards into the person's mind, either directly or by backward masking. There, is, there are no natural secular rock and roll groups. There, there is no neutral secular rock and roll group. There is no rock group totally neutral and suitable for Christian living. Why? Every rock group, either directly or indirectly, has songs with lyrics that, according to God's standards, encourage one or more of the following. Rebellion, immorality, drug use, drinking, occultism, suicide, violence, and blaspheming. Name one rock group that does not encourage any form of evil according to God's standards. It cannot be done. Does rock music produce godlessness and purity, a hunger and a thirst for Christ, a broken and contrite heart, convicted for sins, or a Christ-honoring atmosphere. No, 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 it does not. If rock doesn't do any of these things, but rather does, does the opposite, then why would any Christian listen to this music? The following is a quote by David Wilkerson from his book, Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He is talking about the problem of religious rock. But it also applies to Christians who partake of secular rock. Only the despiser of the Lord Jesus could embrace what he hates. Only the rebellious could purchase one of their records. Only those with a divided heart could go to one of their concerts or view one of their video cassettes. Their video cassettes are demonic and blasphemous. The spirit of mixture and confusion is it was born in will slowly profess you and lead you blindly to the altar of Baal. Sneer if you choose, but you have been warned. Blind defense. Some religious rockers get very angry when they hear someone speak against their demonic music they love so dearly. If only they would defend, love, and serve the Lord Jesus Christ as much as their godless music, God says, For ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as the children of the light. Ephesians 5, 8. See then that ye walk circumcised. Speckly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Ephesians 5, 15, 16. Rebellion. Many involved in the religious rock scene refuse to listen to correction and re rebuke from Scripture. They harden their necks and set their mind not only give up their demonic music, it doesn't seem to concern them that this music is vomit on the table of the Lord and is abomination to him. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. He that love me not keeps not my sayings. John 14, 23 through 24. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. 
2 Corinthians 6.17 Christians are particular people and God wants them to live godly, separate, and holy lives in this evil world. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we shall live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present world. Titus 2.12. Amen.